Welcome back folks, this is Truffles, and today I've got for you another redstone door design. This is the spiral ether door. It's a spiral because I couldn't figure out how to make the pistons all fire at the same time. And it's an ether door because it has a hole in the middle of the thing. So let's see how it opens and closes, shall we? This is the opening sequence, and this is how it closes. So yeah, it kind of takes a while to open and close, but I'll tell you what, it's too wide and it takes up only 7x7 7 7 square. So I'd say that's pretty good. Now onto the tutorial, shall we? Yep, you heard that right. We're going to be doing a tutorial today. Like I said, it's going to be a 7x7 7 7 square with a 2 block width. And the door is placed right in the middle right here. So, let's get started. For this, you're going to need two columns of three pistons each on either side. Followed by a piston on the bottom and the top. Facing inward in kind of like a ring shape. I'll be using gold blocks as the frame block because it stands out. And for our input method, I'll be using a birch fence gate. I'll place it right there. On top of that, you'll need an observer that facing into a block with a little bit of redstone on top of that, followed by an observer going into another block. Now you'll need a sticky piston coming out of that, going into a block of redstone. That'll function as a T flip flop. Place another sticky piston right there with another block in front of that. That block will be triggering this observer, which will be right here. Skip another block and place another block on top of that with some redstone on top of that. Under that, place a fence gate, followed by an observer, another block, and finally, a sticky piston with a block of redstone in front of that. That is the door, done. Now this design is cool and all, but it's kind of, uh, you know, it's kind of hard to use. So let's place some blocks in the corners, and uh, we'll build it out too thick, and uh, then we'll add an input method other than that fence gate. Because as of right now, that fence gate is kind of hard to reach if you're in survival mode. So uh, let's get started on that, shall we? So all you need to do is place a button right there. Get rid of this fence gate. And on the opposite side, place another block, kind of like uh, right there with another button on it. Let's get rid of this while we're at it. Under this, just place a little ring. And on top of that, just some redstone in a little loop like this. And now our door is kind of in the wrong state. So we'll just go ahead and uh, do that. And now our door opens and closes behind us. So that's pretty neat. So I hope you'll like this video. It's kind of different for me doing tutorials. I mean, I'm not really used to doing that kind of thing, but I hoped it was kind of enjoyable since I won't be doing world downloads anymore. I'll be doing more of these tutorials in the future, so stay tuned for them. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching.